Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web, and today we have another unboxing. Well, we have three unboxings in one because the unboxings we have are Mansions of Madness, Season of the Witch, Mansions of Madness, the Silver Tablet, and Mansions of Madness, Some Death Doors Part. Okay, so what do we have in the first set? Right, so on the back we have the story so far. Okay, oh, right. So, investigator setup is there. You just set up for the other world, the witch's house, and uh, the concorded stuff is showed on the side there. Okay, then we have some cards. So the cards we get are, <coughs> now that I've got my book out, my own book for the base game, because I want to find out what these cards actually are, because I'm sick of saying, these are such a such a card, and they may not be. <laughs> okay, so these ones are the tentacles, so, and there goes Lenny. These are obstacle cards. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the camera down a second <coughs> okay so we have the three piles we have the lock and the obstacle cards and these are the ones um, I'm just reading off the rule book uh, the lock cards represent physical locks on doors or other impediments that prevent investigators from entering a room until they fulfill specific criteria the obstacle cards, on the other hand, represent challenges or distractions within a room that prevent the investigators from exploring that room until they fulfil specific criteria. So what are the criteria for, for example, this one? Well, this is where you get the puzzles. <clears throat> okay, so that's what these would be. In the locked door, you'd get... Um, like dice rolls, um, just killed outright. You know, you can. It's pot look at what you get here. And these ones are the exploration cards. These are the ones that you put down and you turn over when you're searching, and you may find something, you may not. <coughs> and these are clues. You've got your clue tokens, you've got your clue cards in there as well. So that's it for those type of cards, so I'll put them away. There's not many cards in the large deck, but let's see what we have in here. Okay, we have those, those, and those. Okay, so these cards are the um, event cards. <coughs> Each story has a unique deck of five event cards. These cards represent the occurrences that unfold as the story proceeds, regardless of the actions taken by the investigators or the keeper. Each event card is drawn after a set number of turns and lists up to three different effects based on choices made by the keeper. So, to give you an example, I'll just... Um, I'll turn the top one of this one over, which is the one for Rats in the Attic. And that gives you an idea of what these cards do. Okay, so that's those cards. Now, these ones. Um, will be keeper action cards. And the keeper action or well, the keeper guide list which keeper action cards are available to be to the keeper for each story. Keeper action cards provide the basic actions the Keeper can perform on his turn by spending threat tokens. Okay, so you get two of those in this set. And finally, we have these cards, <coughs> which are the objective cards. And each story has three unique objective cards, which list the winning conditions for the Keeper and Investigators. 
The keeper receives one of these cards at the start of the game based upon the choices he made during setup. Okay, so you should the, with these the different cards in it looks like it's different card backs for each um Oh dear god, what am I saying? For each expansion. Okay, so that's what we get in these. Okay. Oh hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. I've just noticed we have other things hidden in here. Well not hidden, but I've not looked at yet. Um <clears throat> it's the keeper setup stuff. Let me just take the camera okay, off so we okay. have so that's the, the main front of the packaging. So on the back we have the keeper set up and it tells you everything that needs to be done. And we have two cards of that. Okay. So that is um, <coughs> the Season of the Witch. I couldn't remember then. Now you may also see at the bottom right of this you get a little mouse. That is the logo for this expansion so the cards with that image on the bottom belong to this expansion. So that's a, a good idea. But I'm not sure as to whether or not I can mix and match and put all the cards in together. Okay, so this silver tablet expansion probably exactly the same as um Oh dear we've got Season of the Witch. Um yeah we have the um investigator set up. Um tells you how the map is set out. The cards are slightly different order in this one. And we have the keeper, keeper set up in there, as you can see. And what do we have this time in these cards? Okay, so we have a bunch of cards here, which, are, as we say, the exploration cards. We have lots and lots and lots of them. We have locked door cards, and again we have the obstacle cards. That's what we have exactly the same in um, Season of the Witch. So with these ones you can find some, you can find nothing, you can find something, or you get a clue. Oops, I went off camera then, I do apologise. So I'm not going through all of them in any detail because I want, as I said with this one I think this is the kind of game that you want as many surprises as you can get. Um, we have the locked doors so again we have traps um, a few of the puzzles are in here <coughs> and we have the obstacles which are as I say usually um, the puzzles or instructions on what you need to find before you can go any further. So that's in that deck. Okay, so next deck is going to be the larger cards and I do like the fact that they've put these little plastic things in instead of just a very thin cellophane wrap around it. So what do we have? We Well we have again the event cards, we have again the um, oh dear what are they called? Um, memory is getting worse and worse. I'm sorry. Uh, the keeper action cards and we have the objective cards. Again a different back for the objective cards but you can tell them the objective cards because when you turn them over it says objective. There we are. <coughs> okay, and these again are double sided, um, but as far as I can tell, they're exactly the same on both sides. I don't know if there's any difference at all whatsoever, but it doesn't look like it. 
Okay, so that's um, the is it silver tablet. Yeah, that was a silver tablet expansion. And we have some death doors part. Okay, so again we have on the back the story so far. We take the back sheets off and we have the investigator setup. Okay. We have our small deck of cards. We have our keeper setup instructions on here. And I'll just put that to one side and then we'll have a look at oh one thing I didn't do on this I'm just going back to the silver tablet again. <coughs> Can't see it properly on that one. Let's see if it's in there. The icon on this one is a stone tablet. Oh, it look, that's what it looks like anyway. So that's that's how you know that that is from the uh, Summer Tablets expansion. I'll write it then. So, we'll just put those up there for a second. And let's dig out our, or well, separate our cards. The ones we have. Oh, this new. So we have those. We have those. We have those. And we have those. Oh, so we have four sets of cards this time. Again, we have our exploration cards. We've looked at these before. You know what they are. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing unusual there. We have our lock cards. Again, nothing unusual there. You've seen them in the other packs. Put that to one side. We have our obstacle cards. Again, same as. We only get two in this one. I don't know something. No, we only get two in that one. Now these. That's something I don't know about. Infected. So. This is something new for this. And in this we get a... If you notice at the bottom. Little hand with some squiggly things. Underneath. Whatever they may be. I don't know. But that's to identify him as from this set. So these are infected cards. Fine and dandy. And with these cards we have the um, event cards as usual. Same as they were in the other deck. We have the keeper action cards. I keep having to go back to look what these are because I can't remember. My memory is not what it used to be and not only that but my memory is not what it used to be. And we have our objective cards as well which again is a different bag. Okay this is from the base game as you can see there is no icon at the bottom and as you can see it's nicely glossy card That is, as I say, from the base game. However, these three that we've just looked at now are not, repeat, not to the same standard. As you'll be able to see with the sheen on the curd when I get the light hitting it at the right angle. That just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It basically refracts the light all over the card, whereas this, you seem to get it, f well, that narrowed that one down, didn't it? <laughs> oh well. But, take it from me, this one feels quite a bit smoother, glossier, this one. <coughs> you can also see a slight difference in the colour. Whereas this one being slightly darker printed than this one. But saying that 
as my old gran used to say, a blind man on a galloping horse wouldn't tell any difference. I wouldn't see any difference. <clears throat> this is something I was actually worried about when I was looking into buying these games. Um, the quality of the cards were supposedly not up to or there's a possibility of not being up to the quality of these cards they're not a hundred miles away let's put it that way they are quite close you wouldn't notice them if you weren't looking properly so yeah I'm, I'm happy with the quality of them um, as I say just slight difference in the colour um, and a slight difference in the texture of the feel of it these feel the ones from the base game feel a lot smoother than these but other than that they don't seem all that different so I'm happy with them okay so I haven't got all that many um, expansions for this to go I think it's about three more um, expansions of this type the print on, uh, print on demand ones <coughs> so I can look forward to more um, of, the, uh, of the videos coming and now I have the Call of the Wild, I think I may be tempted into doing a solo gameplay video. Try to work my way through this, I've never played the game. Um, so it might be an interesting concept, just trying to do a blind playthrough. I will probably make an absolute pig's ear of it, but that's the way you learn sometimes. <coughs> But the one thing I do want to ask, and I've asked it before, um, anybody who's got the game, can you clear it up as to whether or not I can take these cards out of um, some Death Doubles part and mix them together with these ones out of the base game? I've done it with the... Um, <coughs> I've done it in here on the um, oh what do you call it the uh, investigator cards are in here um, and on the investigator stack cards are in here together that doesn't make any difference I'm thinking more for the puzzles for the um, <clears throat> encounters this and you know what I mean I'm just wondering as to whether or not I can use even the um, oh the battle what are they called no, uh, the cards that you use to for fighting the combat cards can you mix the combat cards in or do you have to keep them all separate are there any that you have to keep separate like for instance these from the expansions are they just expansion will it um, specific or can they all be mixed in together and do a job I, I'm not sure I'm wanting to bang them all in together but I don't know whether that's going to be right or not so I'm asking now for some assistance so if you know then please share your knowledge because that's what we like to do around here <laughs> but until next time from me and the Mansions of Madness, take care, God bless, and bye for now.